Hello guys, this is Absin Ishmael. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to use OpenStreetMap, which is a free open source map that you can use in place of Google Map or any other maps. So to get started, I'm going to go directly to my WYSIWYG web builder and then I'm going to install it. Since OpenStreet is an extension, I'm going to go ahead to come to the extension manager and then I'm going to go ahead to install the extension that is the OpenStreetMap. So let me just click on all under gallery. I'll go ahead and I select yes. And then when this is done, I'm synchronizing with the internet. Let me just click in the search bar and then I'm going to type open street. So let me just get this right. And as you can see, this is open street. So I'm going to go ahead to hit on install to install the extension. This is going to take some few seconds and then and it's going to be done. So let me just wait a while as it finishes. Okay, so I have my extension installed. Let me click on OK and then click on close. I'm going to come to the toolbox where I'll have my extension located. So let me search for OpenStreet. So as you can see, this is OpenStreet. And then I'm going to click on it and then draw in here. Let me move this a bit to the section. Now I'm going to go ahead to double click on it to configure it. Now when you come to the configure section, you have a couple of options here. You have the API key, which is optional. And then you have the latitude and then longitude. We have markers as well as you have title server. And then um, you have the zoom level. So what we are interested in going to configure or change here has to do with the longitude and then the latitude as well as when we come to the markers we can plot markers on our map to showcase a location so let's see how best we can go ahead and configure the longitude and latitude so to go with that i'm going to come to my browser and then i already have google maps open so what i'm going to do in here is i'm going to get a longitude and latitude for a location how do i go about doing that all I have to do is to select the location. So for instance, if this is the location I want, I right click on the location and that's when I'm using Google map. And then I come to what's here. Now, when I come what's here, it gives me this particular information. I can click on this and then this is going to, let me just um, get that right. So let me just right click on this, come to what's here. I get a longitude and then the latitude. Let me see. So you can see that in here. So this is for the longitude. Let me just um, copy this. Let me copy this and then come here. Sorry, that's for the latitude instead. So I'm going to paste that here. And then I come back to my browser. And then I'm going to copy the longitude. So let me just copy this. Come back to my um, application. And then I'm going to paste that here. Now I'm not going to do anything more. Let me just click on OK and then preview this. So let's wait a few seconds as this previews. So as you can see, we have the location that we set. Now let's go ahead and see how best we can add a marker to it. So I'm going to double click on this and then I'm going to come back to markers this section. So when I come to markers, I'll go ahead and I hit on add. When I hit on add, I'm supposed to specify both the longitude and then the latitude. And then I can even select a color I want to have for my marker, that's the icon. And then I can add a text description here. So let's go ahead and see how best we can do that. I'll come back to my browser and then let me just move to a different location. So let me just come here and then probably let me see this location. So I right click on it and then I'm going to go to what's here and then I'll click on the longitude and then the latitude. I'll come and color, um, copy the latitude first. I'll come to my application. I'm going to paste that here. And then I'll come back to my browser and then I'll get that for the longitude as well. So I'll come back to my application and then I'm going to paste that here. Now let's come to our browser and see the location. So where we are, let's just say use cars sales point. So let me just come to my application and type used cars sales point. And then I'm going to change the color, the icon color to let's say red. I'll go ahead and I hit an OK and then hit an OK. I'll go ahead and hit an OK again. Let me go ahead and preview this in the browser. So as you can see, we have used car sales point. So let's go ahead and then add another marker to it. So let me come back to my Chrome browser. And then I'm going to navigate to a different. So let me just select this particular location. All right, click on it. Go to what's here. And then get the coordinates for it. That's the attitude and then the logging it. So I'm going to copy this. I'll come back to my application i'll double click on this come to markers i'm going to add another marker 
and then I'm going to specify the latitude first and then I'll come back to my browser to get the longitude as well so let me just do that I'll copy this and then I'll come back to my application so let me just click on my application and then I'm going to paste that here so this is going to be campus school I'll go ahead and then hit on OK and then hit on OK let me go ahead and hit on OK once more and then preview this in the browser so as you can see we have that here both are almost closer to each other that's how come we have them so i can add a lot of markers to specify or to showcase different locations now when you are using open streets itself let me just come here and then go to open street map there is a way you can also plot um, that is location so let's see how best we can go about that so for instance let me just search for accra I'll go ahead and then um, let me just zoom in here and let's see how best we can get the coordinates for this particular location so when you right click on a location let's just go ahead and select show address so when we come to show address you get a coordinates so the first one is your latitude and then the second one is your longitude so you just have to copy this let me just um, you just have to copy this let me copy this first when I right click on it, I'll copy it, I'll come to my application. So let me just add this as a marker. So I'll come here, add, and then I'll paste my latitude here. Let me just change the icon to let's say green. I'll come back to my browser and then I'm going to copy for the longitude as well. So let me just copy this, come to my application. I'm going to paste that here, and then this is going to be um, ordinary address. Let me go ahead and hit on OK, hit on OK, hit on OK, and then preview this once more in my browser. So as you can see, I have my ordinary address. I should have other address there a bit. Okay, so these are the two addresses I created earlier, and then this is the other address I created. So that is that is how to go about using OpenStreetMap, which is um, an option for in place of Google Map in your WYSIWYG Web Builder project. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.